This brand used to make watches for the Austrian Emperor. Today we're going to talk about Karl, Suchi and Söhne. And if you haven't heard about this brand, then now is the time to check them out. The first time I got in contact with the brand was in 2020, during the pandemic. Karl, Suchi and Söhne was one of the first brands that I started to work with and one of the first articles actually that I wrote on my watch blog. Why is this brand so special? First of all, it is one of the few high-end Austrian watch brands. This is something that I truly appreciate because obviously I live in Austria and why not support a fellow Austrian brand? If you wanna check out my previous video on the Karl Suchi and Söhne, the first watch they've done, the Waltz number one, then you can click up here and check that out. Karl Suchi and Söhne was founded in 1822. The Suchi family was one of the purveyors to the Royal Habsburg court. And they were making watches and clocks for the monarchs and the Austrian elite as well. They cater to the likes of the Austrian Emperor and even Sigmund Freud. Sadly, the brand came to a halt until 2017, where it was relaunched with the original DNA, namely focusing on high quality materials, timeless Viennese design and great Swiss watchmaking. Karl Suchi has three products in their line. The Waltz number no. one, which I've already done a review on it. There's the table waltz, a table clock, and now the new watch, the Belvedere. A watch for everyday usage with 100 meters of water resistance, a case diameter of 40.8 millimeters, and a lug to lug of just under 44 millimeters. But more importantly, a height of 12 0.2 millimeters. The watch looks great and it comes with a nice rubber strap that you can actually take off because it has quick exchange pins in them. The one thing that I truly appreciate about this brand is not only their team and the CEO, but also this timeless Viennese design that they bring to the table. And you can see this here on the dial of the watch, but you can also see it on the open case back, which has the beautiful rotor that is magnificently finished as well. The first watch, the Waltz number no. one, was inspired by timeless Viennese design, not focusing on the seconds, with a cool seconds disc that you really have to focus on to actually see the disc moving. And this time it's quite similar. This time it's not about the seconds, it's more about the date. It doesn't really matter what date it is. They've integrated the date in a very clever manner. There is a date disc on the dial that moves from day to day, allowing for a little playfulness on the wrist. Everything else is very similar and very in line with their Viennese design language, but also very similar to the Waltz number. They incorporate this Viennese timeless design with Swiss craftsmanship. Namely, these watches are assembled in Switzerland. They have a very nice movement. On this Belvedere, we have a modified Dubois Depra movement with 42 hours of power reserve. We have very nice skeletonized Dauphine hands. We have this very, very cool structured dial. If you have the chance to check them out, either at a official retailer or in Vienna in their showroom, definitely do that. You will be surprised how great and comfortable the watches actually are. They're thin, they're very snug on the wrist, very comfortable, and the playfulness of the watch itself allows you to dive deep into the elegance of the watch, into the history of the brand, but also to appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into this. This is something that I truly love about the independent watch brands. They bring creativity to the table and they always find a very creative way to interpret a simple time only watch to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more fascinating and just a tad bit more playful. This is what it's all about in terms of craftsmanship and in terms of watchmaking. So if you have the chance to check it out, do check it out. There will be a link to the watch down below. And yeah, let me know what you think about Karsuki and Söhne and if this is a watch for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you feel like it, put a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.